Hi there Aquarius, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay Aquarius, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Aquarius please? Aquarius. 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 The past energy for Aquarius, please. Okay, one more, and then I'll get started. Aquarius, please. Okay. So the past energy for Aquarius, please. The Eight of Wands in reverse, okay. The Six of Pentacles. Wow, look at that, the Four of Cups in reverse. And the present energy for Aquarius, please. The present energy for Aquarius. The Ten of Swords. What's going on here? The present energy for Aquarius. Look at that, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse. And the Future Energy, the Fool, that's your card right there. The Two of Cups, interesting. With the Nine of Cups, interesting, okay. And, um, and the overall energy, it's the Chariot in reverse. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is telling me that there is someone that's quite confused, indecisive. Uh, with the chariot in the upright, this is someone making a choice and moving forward with determination, but it's showing up in reverse here. So it seems like there may not even be communication between you and a specific person, or things are not moving as quickly as you would like. Okay, I feel like there is an acknowledgement of a connection with the four of cups in reverse. However, I feel like this is you wanting there to be balance, where there's like an equal give and take in energy. Okay. And um, unfortunately, when I look at the present energy, it seems like there is um, pain. Maybe even a sense of defeat, because I don't see things taking a turn for the positive. Unless someone really expresses how they feel here. It's interesting, it's like the Four of Cups in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So I do see you embarking on a brand new beginning. So the Two of Cups talks about you dealing with a special connection, so it may not even be someone from the past. But at the same time, I feel like with the Nine of Cups, you could be focused on your wish fulfillment here, okay? So let me uh, clarify before I say anything else. So I'm going to clarify the Chariot in Reverse. For Aquarius, please. The Chariot in Reverse. The Chariot in Reverse. The Chariot in Reverse for Aquarius. Okay, so clarifying the Chariot in Reverse. The Four of Wands in reverse, okay. Wow, three fours. So fours could be a significant number. The Hangman. With Judgment in reverse. I'm gonna get one more card. And the Sun. <laughs> this is interesting. 
I feel like uh, you and a specific person are not together in the 3D. Okay, I feel like there is someone that's indecisive. However, I feel like there... This could be you that's looking at things from various perspectives, trying to gain some sort of enlightenment here, given the fact that there is confusion regarding this connection. And I feel like you could very well be going through positive changes with the Sun card. So there is stagnancy between you and a specific person. So let me clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse. The Three of Cups. The Moon in reverse. Death in reverse. I feel like there's someone that's not walking away though. Because there is an acknowledgement of a connection here with the Four of Cups in reverse. Let me get another card. The Two of Swords in reverse. I feel like things are out in the open, so I, I don't think things are hidden in the dark here. So there could very well be someone that wants a, a reconciliation. I don't see them detaching. But yet there still could be confusion with the Two of Swords in reverse, even though there is clarity. So let me clarify the Six of Pentacles. There we go, and just as I said, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. What's all this confusion about? Nope. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. So I don't see someone being expressive or taking action. So I see this as someone that's not really investing their time, like physical time, into this connection. Even though I don't see someone detaching or walking away. So let me clarify the Four of Cups in reverse. But there is, look at how many fours, the Four of Swords in reverse. There's someone that's feeling restless. There is an acknowledgement of a connection, strength. So you could share a strong bond with someone. And I don't see an end to a cycle here with the World card in reverse. Talk about, that's a lot of confusion. This could even be someone having to gain some sort of enlightenment in order for things to take a turn for the positive. But let me clarify the Ten of Swords. The Two of Wands, okay. There's your Chariot. With the Knight of Wands. I really feel like there is someone that is feeling the pain of this disconnect. It's like they have the ability to take, um, take action. So they have to make this choice to move forward with determination. But they could fe be feeling a sense of defeat here with the Ten of Swords. It's like wanting to rush in passionately, but there's pain with the Ten of Swords. So let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. The Ten of Wands. So I really feel like there is someone that's feeling stressed out. That uh, things didn't take a turn for the positive. So this could very well be you that's kind of um, focusing on yourself, focusing on your independence, taking great care of yourself, trying to overcome any sort of pain. Um, yet I feel like you could be stressed out. Maybe a lot of time went by, but let me clarify the Four of Pentacles in Reverse before I say anything. The Four of Pentacles in Reverse. This person is not really communicating how they feel, even if there may be a desire to do so. The King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, doesn't necessarily have to be. The Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. I feel like there is someone that's wanting to balance things out where there's an equal give and take in energy, though. 
uh, they're seeing you as someone that's very charming, attractive, charismatic, confident, but they're not being expressive here. So you could be very focused on your stability, okay? But uh, let me clarify the fool. The tower, oh boy. The ace of pentacles in reverse. The two of pentacles and the queen of swords. So I feel like this connection has gone through a major shakeup. Okay, uh, someone could have been hit with a tower moment of realization and now they're trying to weigh their options on what to do here. And you're showing up as the queen of swords, so you're trying to be logical, practical, possibly even wanting the truth here. But just make sure that if there is a brand new, brand new opportunity, you're not resisting it, okay? Because um, there is a potential for a brand new beginning here. So let's clarify the Two of Cups, the hair font. Okay, so you are dealing with a very spiritual connection. But look at that, it's like the King of Swords in reverse. So you're showing up as a Queen of Swords. The Queen of Wands, but the King of Swords is showing up in reverse. This person is not taking action or communicating. So with the wheel, we're taking the initiative, but let me clarify the wheel. Page of Cups. I feel like this is someone that's having to express how they feel. Or to speak their truth in order for things to take a turn for the positive. But this is not someone that's kind of coming in with determination. Because they could be holding on to pain. So maybe this has caused like a major shakeup within this dynamic. Okay, let me clarify the Nine of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles though. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups in reverse. I do see the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. The Star in reverse. So I see you like slowly and surely moving um, forward. Okay, I feel like you are focused on your independence, taking great care of yourself as a queen of pentacles. You're also someone that's very dependable, but it seems like there is a disconnect and things haven't been healed within this dynamic. Someone could very well be losing hope, okay? Um, so I see you being self-focused, given the fact that this person is not really communicating how they feel because there could be confusion. Although I feel like they've been hit with some sort of realization here or this connection has gone through a major shakeup. So let me get further inside from the intimate tarot for Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on here. The Page of Cups could also be talking about like new love, okay? So the hair fonts, the Two of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, possibly you having to keep your heart space open. So I hopefully this is not you that's losing hope, okay? Judgment. The Five of Wands, the Eight of Cups. So Judgment talks about like someone having to make a profound choice. It could be talking about like a fated encounter, but I see conflict here with the Five of Wands. Someone could be internally conflicted or even suppressing their desires. And with the Eight of Cups, someone could have walked away or this could be talking about like a separation or someone appearing as if they're emotionally distant. Maybe this could even be you. And there's your Ten of Swords. So it seems like there is pain between you and a specific person. Aquarius, please. Strength, okay. And the King of Cups. So you could have shared a strong bond with this person. 
So this person does have a lot of love for you, but they may not even be expressing it. Okay, there's your emperor. And the two of pentacles. I really feel like there is someone that's weighing their options on what to do here. One more. So I do see a potential for a brand new beginning in love here. So in this regard, someone has to be emotionally expressive, but I also feel like there could be a potential for new love as well. So in divine timing with the wheel of fortune or so not to lose hope. Okay. Um, let's get messages from the Oracle deck for Aquarius, please. Aquarius. 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 There we go. These two cards. Okay, this is interesting. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. Okay? So someone having to keep their heart space, heart space open, the both of you. Spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Okay. So you could share a strong bond with someone. But this could also be like new love as well with the hair on the two of cups and the page of cups and the wheel of fortune okay so let me get messages from the romance angel deck for aquarius please Okay, so messages for Aquarius, please. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. So not to lose hope, okay? Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So there could have been a separation here, okay? Or someone walked away. <laughs> but reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. So... If this person chooses to be expressive, there could be a potential for a reconciliation. Past life relationship, you have known each other before, okay? And one more. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime, okay? So that's my reading for you, Aquarius, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.